Hello, what is up guys? Evil Do Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a few pro tips and tricks for life skillers who are just getting into Black Desert that will make their lives so much easier. But even if you're a pro, these are some things you might not know about. So quickly before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or you have been watching the videos on the channel and still have not subscribed yet, please consider it helps grow my channel and pushing for 100K this year would greatly appreciate it. Plus you stay up to date when new content comes out. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. And let's start off with the first pro tip here. And that is going to be mouse movement to gather things. So right here, you can see that I have four trees really, really close to me right here. All right. And normally, if I wanted to gather from these four trees, I would have to walk up to each tree and click on it to gather it. But if you go into the settings menu, the little icon right here, go to the interface settings option, scroll down to mouse interface and check the box right here that says use mouse to move. You can actually harvest these trees in a completely different way. So for this, all you have to do is be in a relative vicinity of it once you have this enabled and press the control key on the keyboard to bring up this little cursor right here that's gonna pop up on the screen. Then you have to right click on a tree. So in this case, I've clicked on the cedar tree over here. And then if you press the R key, you will gather that tree from this far away. You can then queue up the next tree by right clicking on it. So you can see I can have these trees all queued up and ready to go. Start that one, get this next one queued up. And I can gather from four trees right around me with this. So once again, this is the control key to bring up this icon on your screen. So right here, we got another two, control key and kick, control key and click, right click, control key and click. So just like that, you can gather from both of those trees. And this is gonna work for any type of gathering that you're gonna do in this game. So herbs, trees, plants, rocks, whatever you're gathering, you can do this multi-gather using the feature here with the mouse movement. All you gotta do is hit control to disable it and the cursor goes away. If you have a gaming mouse, you can totally program one of these side buttons to be the control key on the keyboard so that you don't have to move around as much. So that is gonna be pro tip number one here in this video. Once again, that is the escape key, settings, scroll down to the interface settings option, mouse interface, and select use mouse to move. Next tip we're gonna take a look at involves increasing your carrying weight while you're out gathering or making cooking boxes or doing processing or anything where you're gonna want more carry weight but aren't too concerned about your damage that you do. And for this, you're gonna to wanna to buy a couple of cheap green weapons. If you open up the central marketplace here, click on your main weapon tab and whatever class your main weapon is, filter by price. You're looking for weapons that have two crystal slots, which are going to be the Kriya weapon as well as the Rosar weapon for your main hand. And for your sub weapon, you are once again looking at the Kriya and the Rosar. And in addition to those two weapons, you're gonna need four Garvish crystals. So G-E-R-V-I-S-H, the Garvish crystal. Now, if you're looking to go cheap, you can just buy this base version right here, but if you're looking to min-max it, you can buy the Han Magic Crystal, which will provide you an extra 60 LT. But a set of four of these crystals in any slot is going to increase your carry weight by 150. If you choose to buy the Han Magic Crystal instead, you're gonna get the 150 bonus plus an additional 15 LT for each crystal, so a total of 60. So the Han Magic Crystal set for 400 and something million silver provides you 210 carry weight. The 20 million silver set right here will provide you with a total increase of 150 LT carry weight. These crystals can then be slotted into your Rossar weapon or your Creo weapon, whichever one you selected here and here. You can then go and gather or make your cooking boxes or do your processing or anything else where you want an increase to carry weight with these weapons on because it's not gonna particularly matter since you're not killing anything, but the extra weight will allow you to gather longer, process longer, make more cooking boxes. I mean, 150 LT, it's three extra boxes. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a huge time savings. Since your weapon has no impact on your mastery, you can freely do this and you don't lose out on anything as far as life scaling goes. 100% awesome thing to take advantage of. And the third tip I wanna share with you today also involves crystals, but this one is also more specifically for gathering, and that involves the main hand weapon reduction of durability crystals. So you can see right here on my Kriya blade, I have slotted on durability reduction resistance crystals. These are gonna mean that I can gather for longer because my gathering tool is gonna to break down slower. So if you find yourself gathering in a remote location where you don't have access to the pay to win tent, you can use these crystals to extend the amount of time you can spend gathering at any one location. Really nice tip, especially for those of you that don't have the pay to win tent. But even then, sometimes it's still more worth to take the increased carry weight just so you can gather for a longer period of time. But anyway, guys, those are going to be three tips that I wanted to share with you today. There's some things that I wish I learned a lot earlier on in my gathering life, as well as my generic life skilling life. Being able to turn in three extra boxes every single pass is a huge improvement on the amount of time it takes to turn them in. But yeah, I do hope these tips are going to be helpful to you. If they are going to help you once again, please consider subscribing if you're not already. I got new videos coming out all the time for Black Desert, so stay up to date when those come out. Also, it would help me hit 100k. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll see you at the next live stream over on Twitch, next YouTube video, right here, or... 
wherever I happen to see you. Peace.